Sable, dear sister, when are you going to stop rescheduling your appointments with Velma and go back to therapy? I don't know. When are you going to start? Uh, as soon as you make and keep an appointment with Velma. Ask her for a referral for me, would you? And I will do exactly as many sessions as you do, unless I think it's helping, in which case I'll do whatever I want. Fair? <laughs> oh, aren't we a pair? <laughs> okay, little Sib, you've got a deal. Only fair. I'll call right now, as a matter of fact, so I can't chicken up. I just... <sighs> I worry about how little sleep you get. I know it was helping, at least before... Yeah. Anyway, um... I think it would be good for you to go back to it, even if it means I gotta talk to one, too. Uh... Hey! Uh... Fable, while we're not on the subject, there's something I want to talk to you about. Uh, one sec. Hi, yes, it's Sable calling. Yes, I'm sorry for my absence, but I'd like to make an appointment with Velma. Also, did she leave any information about a possible referral for Tempest? She did. Great. Just let me grab a pen. All right. Um, it's paper, paper, paper. Uh, you think I'd have a million things? Okay, there we go. No paper. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, great. Yeah, um, Tuesday will be fine. Usual time? Perfect. I'll talk to her then. Thank you so much. Here you go. Now that that's done, you want to talk here in the office or you want to go somewhere? I can close the door or we can go get some fresh air. Your choice. Or we can always hit the void if it's super secret. Fooey. I was hoping that would be more work for you. I'll call now, too. Then we can talk about... Yeah, we can just close the door for that. Hi, this is Prinks Tempest, Sable's sibling. Dr. Velma Price recommended your office for me. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, Hang on, let me put you on speaker while I check my calendar. Oh, absolutely. Our schedule's a little full right now. We'll be booking you for next week. Of course. And how does Tuesday sound for you, your highness? Okay, Tuesday should work. What time? Excellent. Can you fit in a 3 p.m. appointment? 3? Sure, I can do that. I'll make a note right now. Glad to hear it. We'll see you then. Have Thanks. a nice day now. Yep. Bye. Alright, so... Where should I start? Um, you know how the Overflow ate the missing house? Ugh, yeah, there's something I'd rather forget, but yes, of course. Why did this come up? I can't imagine it's good. It's... not... Okay, so I don't know how to say this even, but can I bring more people over from the Elite Speak reality? Grace wants to open an orphanage. Thomas knows some really good healing magic stuff that you might be interested in. Most of the kids will help Grace. There's a few teachers who want to teach us thanoglyphics. Um, uh, um, of course you can bring more people from the Elite Speak reality. I'd be happy if you brought everyone who matters to you there. Your family is my family, after all. Besides, I'd love to meet them. Grace was your den mother, right? I want to give her a big old hug and thank her for taking care of you. And it's not like we don't have the resources. But do they know what they're getting into? This isn't the safest reality, after all. Why did you mention... Oh. Don't make me say it. It's weird. And I hate it, and I don't want to think of what might happen to the people we don't bring, and... This sucks. Every single time. But the, the late speak reality is... kind of home, in a lot of ways. I just... can't. I suspected, you know. I mean, it's the logical outcome from everything you've told me. But even stars don't burn forever. Let's bring them all. Everyone you want. No restrictions. No limits. No conditions. Every life is valuable. 
We can't save everyone, but we'll save anyone we can. No need for fear. There's more than enough room. We'll go right now if you want to. <sighs> Let's go, and quickly. They knew, you know, that this was coming. Some sacred text thingy. I don't know what the details are, but basically when I showed up, they started to make plans for a way out. And when I brought Buddha over... Well, some people don't want to leave, but there's an organized effort to bring as many people over as we can handle, basically. Thanks, sis. Actually, that's encouraging. People know, eh? Okay, so this is going to be an operation, then. Are we talking about, like, the whole world knows? Or just a large minority? And we might want to bring the, re <clears throat> the Ausla, then, because people might get violent out of desperation. But yes, we will absolutely take as many people as we can. How many people are we talking about? Hundreds? Thousands? Millions? I don't think we can handle millions, but thousands might be possible. I just need to know what kind of operation I'm going to have to set up on this end. Should I call the other house leaders? Let them know they might have incoming? Do the lead speak folk have some kind of selection process for this? About a million people, all told. I forget the exact number. A million. A lot of people don't believe in it. Some people are all, I was born here, I'll die here about things. But everyone who wants out, I want to give them an out. You want to come over with me and maybe bring, uh, Commander Kitoipoi and Commander Stretch? They're practical. Whew, yeah, you're right. We're going to need people who are prepared to make hard decisions. Let's get Sunny then and Rowan and the March Hares. And yeah, I guess I'd better let the other house leaders know. <laughs> we can absorb a million people right now, but it'll be easier if we have other people willing to take refugees. Yeah, that's actually why I brought it up. I figured it was a good time. 4% of the world's population is what we lost after the war, right? We've got plenty of room in the infrastructure. Heh. <laughs> now you're thinking like a seneschal, little Sim. Well done. Might have to extend war rationing for a year. Actually, conditions may never have been better for something crazy like this. I was also thinking about those literomantic batteries from the battle with the Night King. I think you might have had plans for those, but what about using them here? And we have the Woodlander crowns, too. Hells, maybe we can recruit Bob and his dice. They all boost power and whatever, right? Great points, all of that. You know what? We need Senna. She's got the head for logistics that something like this is going to require. And she's capable of making hard decisions if need be. I'll text her. We got this. Senna will figure out how to make it all work. We'll have to meet her in the bunny comb. Let's go. Right behind you. <laughs> 